What's the what's the difficulty that uh, that the EU is having towards a, a President Trump and the American policies now? Even in in Britain, who's looking to leave the EU, and yet it seems that the press is uh, stirring up anti-Americanism uh, among the people because Brexit was a, a popular move. What's going on in Europe towards America? But I know very well uh, Germany, I know very well, and France, it's 100% anti-Trump, anti-capitalism, and anti-everything he represents, you know, defending his people, his people first. That's something they hate. And uh, what's going on, what, what just happened now with EU is, is asking them to pay their fair share for of NATO. Of NATO. What does it mean? It means taking money away from the from the socialism, taking money away from the, the, the all the socialist uh, uh, rule law that they have in Europe. A little bit away to take care of themselves, to defend themselves. They don't want to do that. They don't want to. They want. They want to say we have we have no war we are not at war we're pacifist and at the same time they wouldn't want to leave nato and they wouldn't want the united states to stop helping them and defending them they are in a contradiction and donald trump doesn't like that donald trump is straightforward he he, he tells things that they are he says if you want to take care of your children you have to pay for that it's not our job and he linked that to the to the to the tariff you know, and to the trade, and uh, they didn't like it because he tell the truth. The truth is that they charge heavy traffic, heavy tariff to to the U.S. and the U.S. charge very little, and they don't like to hear about it. You know, uh, last year when uh, Donald Trump spoke about it for the first time, he said, "You know what? You don't want tariff? Okay, fine. I agree with that. Let's go zero tariff, total freedom." You couldn't read that anywhere in any European media. That, that was it hidden. Because this is what they pretend to want, but they, that's not what they really want. What they want is to keep their tariff and that Donald Trump would continue the status quo and not charge them the same thing. Uh -huh. In the, the EU is now trying to find ways around the U.S. sanctions so that they can get money directly to Iran. They want to keep funding Iran with the, with the knowledge that Iran is developing uh, weapons of mass destruction that could be used against Europe. And yet, when President Trump is trying to isolate Iran, why are the European leaders, the politicians, why are they working uh, towards uh, continuing doing business with Iran? Well, to answer to that, let me let me go back to what happened uh, with uh, with the meetings in uh, NATO. You know what what Trump said. He said, "How can you, on one hand, say that you have sanction against Russia, and on the other hand, you do business with them and you and you build a pipeline when you're gonna you're gonna send the the, the dollars through the pipeline to to Russia? Yeah. You know, it's a contradiction. Yeah. The European are not used to do what they say." and to say what they do and to back to back to Iran they don't care about uh, Iran uh, uh, nic being nuclear nuclearized they don't care about that the European but, leaders don't care no they don't they don't because they they don't feel the threat they believe it's it's Middle East they they hear the the the, the, the Ayatollahs saying that the big Satan is who America what do they care? They hate America. Small Satan is who? Israel? They'd be happy, you know, if the Irani if the Iranian would uh, would um, have an, a second genocide without without and, and them having the the hand clean, they would be very happy. You know, it's still there. Yeah. Yeah, but the Iranians they make no secret of their goal to export the Islamic revolution beyond Iran into other countries, into Europe. In fact, part of their agenda in having uh, Muslim uh, migrants into Europe is to Islamize Europe. Why wouldn't these politicians be concerned to, to stop the, the threat of nuclear terror? Uh, God is in the details. For one part, they're scared, so they submit. 
it's still the submitting mentality. For another part, they don't care. You know, the main leaders of Europe have no children. Macron has no children. Merkel has no children. May has no children. In, in, EU leader has no children. So, a leader like Donald Trump, who has four or five children and grandchildren, and, grandchildren, and a, a Macron who has none, don't you think that in the unconscious there is a difference? That's one thing. Also, also, they want to save the European economics, which is in bad situation, bad shape. They were expecting in Iran to, to open huge market and suddenly they realize that Trump uh, is cutting them from that with sanction. So all they care is the money. They wouldn't tell that. They would say, oh, the American, they, 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 de they declare a war because of uh, market uh, or because of the oil. What about them? No, they're perfect. You know, they're above the fray. No, that's not true. It's business. They want market because they are losing ground. Do you believe that uh, in the same way peop some people believe that uh, the money which Obama gave to Iran was given back to the American leaders, John Kerry, and maybe o Obama in terms of bribes for American policy. Do you believe that uh, Iran may be bribing the European leaders? Yeah, I believe uh, I would be. I wouldn't be surprised because uh, I last time I checked, Europe uh, beside the the northern uh, country, European countries, Europe doesn't doesn't uh, 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 grade well on the on the corruption index. They're not very good. I believe that. France is in the 30s, uh, Germany and, uh, and the other are about the same. So I wouldn't be surprised. Of course, you're not going to read that in the news tomorrow because the newspapers uh, and the journalists are pro-Europe. But I wouldn't be surprised. Why not? What's the attitude when you see news reports trying to make an, uh, almost every news report, uh, every channel on the mainstream media and CNN, MSNBC, try to make Trump... President Trump look bad for his policies on restricting immigration from countries that can't provide proper vetting for uh, Muslim immigrants to the, the to this country. They try to make President Trump look bad. What advice would you have for the American viewer who doesn't uh, get to hear another point of view except from someone from there like yourself? Well, um, I believe that today with the internet, with Google, people have no excuse. If they keep wanting to hear only one voice, one side of the story, I pity them. It's uh, it's it's sad. It's like uh, it's like uh, giving up on uh, being informed. You know, today with the internet, what you can do, you can cross-examine the information by yourself. Go on the seat on the right. Go on the seat on the left. Read what they say about the same thing. You're gonna see completely different thing, go on a third, on a fourth. It takes time, it takes energy, but that's a price today to be informed. And people complain about that, but they shouldn't, because 30 years ago you didn't have the internet. They had the monopoly on, on, on information. You couldn't see, you couldn't know if what they say was true or not. Now you can't. If you don't do it, sorry for you, I cannot help you.